top story, there's finally some reason for optimism in the battle between Ontario teachers and the government. The teachers say they will sit down and talk with the education minister about controversial changes to the system. And while the teachers are willing to talk, hundreds of local students were willing to walk today. We begin our coverage with the CBC's Steve Irwin in Toronto. Teachers are gathering across Ontario, preparing for what many consider inevitable, a province-wide strike. Yesterday, the Minister of Education invited teacher unions to meet with him face-to-face -face and talk about Bill 160, which puts control of education in the hands of the province. This afternoon, representatives of Ontario's 125,000 teachers talked it over and decided they would meet with the minister, but only to lay down the law. Either he backs away from the bill, or there will be a strike by the end of October. He can decide he's going to listen to us like they listen to the doctors and they listen to labor and make changes to that legislation, or they know very clearly what the teachers of this province are prepared to do, and they are prepared to close down the school. This is not about negotiations. This is to uh, outline very clearly in a face-to-face -face meeting our position on these matters, and I have absolutely no problem doing that, but we will not, will not negotiate. And that makes the meeting between the minister and the teachers a showdown, because the minister says he won't negotiate either. The better quality of education for our students. That's what's not negotiable. Uh, that's where we're, uh, where we're certainly not flexible. We're not happy with the student performance we have in the province now. We want better grades for our students, and we'll get that. So teachers are getting ready for what they say they don't want, but fear they can't avoid. Steve Irwin, CBC News, Toronto. Here in Ottawa, Carlton, high school students by the hundreds took to the streets to support teachers in their dispute with the provincial government. For many of the students, today's demonstrations appeared to be little more than a lark, a chance to cut classes for a pep rally. But for others, this is a serious issue about which they hold strong opinions. Look, he doesn't listen to the teachers who give us our education. He doesn't listen to the parents who pay for our education. So maybe he'll listen to us, and that's why I'm here. We're here to show our concern for, the, uh, for our, our own education and for the teachers themselves. We, we want BL60 gone! <laughs> My mom's a kindergarten teacher. She's going to lose her job next year, and they don't give a shit about that. That's not yes. important to them. We have to stand by with the teachers, because if our school uh, year is extended, a lot of us have jobs, we won't be able to get our jobs because our school year is extended. There's no question a majority of the demonstrators side with their teachers. But there are some dissenters who back the government. I don't want, I just, I think that we should be in school longer, and I don't agree with cutting prep time or anything like that. But I, PD Day should be cut because we have to learn. We need more time in the classroom, more time learning the basics. Ontario is the lowest um, education standards, and I think that's inappropriate. I, I want to learn. Across Ottawa, Carlton, several thousand students from about a dozen high schools participated in demonstrations. Area school boards said most students would not be disciplined for skipping classes action might be taken against ringleaders and troublemakers. Arthur Lewis, CBC News, Ottawa. Well, you've heard from the students. What about their parents? Here's Newsday's Danny Globerman. Talking to parents, it becomes clear many do not know exactly what it is about Bill 160.